Welcome to Health Bulletin, in a world where nature strikes back. Following the Chernobyl disaster, an extraordinary phenomenon has surfaced. The fallout from the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, the historic nuclear accident at Chernobyl, is now more than 30 years old. Filmmakers and scientists set out to document the lives of the packs of wolves and other wildlife thriving in the dead zone that still surrounds the remains of the reactor. In 1986, the aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster continues as to manifest in increasingly unexpected ways, and a recent study has uncovered something remarkable about wolves residing within the Chernobyl exclusion zone. The study revealed that wolf populations inhabiting these extreme conditions have undergone significant changes, showcasing living in extreme conditions have changed to such an extent that they're now more resilient to cancer. Their bodies produce elevated levels of a protein known as P53, which acts as a natural tumor suppressor. Scientists have discovered that these Chernobyl wolf warriors possess an incredible ability to hunt down cancer cells and eliminate them. Since humans left the E, a radiated area following the disaster, the wolf population has risen dramatically. However, they've had to adapt to living with such high levels of radiation. The Chernobyl exclusion zone features a level of radiation that is six times the legal limit of human exposure for workers at 1128 millirem. But how did this happen? After the nuclear disaster, the radioactive fallout transformed the wolves' DNA giving rise to these extraordinary abilities. These wolves have adapted, defying the odds, and are thriving in the radioactive wilderness. Nature, once again, shows us its resilience in the face of adversity. Research into the wolves' genetic makeup began in 2014. Over time, the radiation had led to their entire immune system being altered. So much so, they were more resistant to cancer. The study, which was recently presented at the annual meeting of the Society of Integrative and Comparative Biology's annual meeting in Seattle, showed that the animals had reacted in a comparable way to human patients who had undergone radiation treatment for cancer. The person behind the research is Kara Love, who is an evolutionary biologist and ecotoxicologist at Princeton University. Kara has been studying wolves for the last 10 years. The researcher highlighted that while research has been challenging due to the ongoing conflict, they are able to obtain real-time measurements of the location and radiation exposure levels. When discussing the progress of the research, Kara emphasized, our primary concern is ensuring the safety of the people and collaborators in that area. The fallout from the Chernobyl disaster continues to be felt by humans. There was some report after Russian troops who dug trenches in the Chernobyl forest were struck down with radiation sickness. Nature has proven time and time again that even amidst devastation, there is hope. These courageous creatures serve as a reminder to us all that life finds a way to prevail. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories from the world of science and latest medical updates.